Princess Adad, your mama. Brother! They were just trying to give you a warm reception as royalty demands. Trying to welcome her, me? Oh no. You guys failed woefully at this welcome attempt. What do I look like? Some scallywag or nikon poop that you will impress with this bullshit? Oh, y'all a bunch of idiots. Can you take it easy on them? They heard you were coming today, so they created this just to mesmerize you. Oh, you're damn right. I mesmerized. Can you not see how bloody mesmerized I look already? And it's all thanks to you, bunch of idiots. Shut up. Now look at me. Look into my face. You're in big trouble because the new sheriff is in town. Now if the other royalties are impressed with this, I'm not. A news flash. If you love your lives and you love your jobs here, you might want to stay in order. You might want to do as I say. Because nonsense like this will not be tolerated next time. You understand? You understand? Thank you, ma. Look at them. Cheap ass looking bitches. Thank you, ma. Princess Adadia Roma, can you just calm true. down? You've not even settled in and you're here causing tension. Because they fucking triggered me. They triggered me. I jumped right out of the car, excited. I wanted to meet mom and dad, but then they had to ruin it. Mess with my mood, triggered me, and now I'm off the hook. Are you happy now? Princess, no. can you calm down? I'm sorry. You've not even settled in and you're creating tension up and down. They tense me up. And now I'm about to go ask dad and mom what the hell this is about. Because it don't make no sense. It don't make no goddamn sense. What am I, Eddie Murphy now? Is this some kind of remix of Eddie Murphy and coming to America? I'm not even a hug for you. Listen, I'm sorry, okay? Please, you, don't take this serious. Thank you, baby. I'm sorry. You can go back to your place. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. I saw the driver driving in. Oh. Here she comes in her elegance. <laughs> My beautiful daughter, welcome. Hi, Daddy Mom. What the hell was that? Eh? What was what? That embarrassment outside. <laughs> I saw a bunch of maidens standing like statues, holding out flower pots <laughs> as a form of welcome to me. Was that supposed to be a joke? No, listen, the, the maidens themselves, they came up with the idea of welcoming you in that banner. It actually you know, made it as an, an application and we approved it. Do you have a problem with that? Do I have a problem with it? It's beautiful. Oh, hell yes, I have problems with it. <laughs> you know, you Africans kill me. Oh, no, Y'all yeah. <laughs> be doing too much for real. How? You call that show of shame a form of welcome. How mm. the hell did you inculcate that into our tradition, Gaddy? It doesn't belong here. It has no place in our tradition. If anything, that 
is a bold culture and it's gotta go. Toss it out, daddy. Undo it. Of all kinds of warm welcome, warm reception to give me, you insult me with that. What's more, are there flower girls upstairs waiting to throw flowers at me like Eddie Murphy in the movie Coming to America? Adora, mom. You are reading different meaning into that. No, I'm not. How can we decide to insult you? Mommy, those women are grown ass women. They ought to be someplace else being productive and getting paid for it. They are productive. Uh -oh. That is why they work in the palace uh -oh. to earn a living. Uh, okay, okay. That also explains why they're dressed like some bridal train girls. Uh, listen, my daughter, I... Hmm. What more? You got masculine no, no. Is, waiting for me to dance? It's, it's very clear you, you, you just got back. The weather is not, actually not favorable for you. you can You're see. right, Daddy. I'm yes. dying here. Yes, the way you are sweating. So I think the best thing for you to do now is go up, take a shower, take a rest. You understand? There are so many things that are happening here that are still not very clear to you. You don't understand them. So you, you just go and rest, okay? Aradia Rama, we are your family members. We have no reason to deceive you. Trust me, you embarrassed those maidens and they deserve an apology. What are you saying? You heard me. <laughs> an apology. Did you hear me? I want so he actually wants me to go outside and apologize to those scarecrows, huh? Never. No way. You have to withdraw that word. Hmm. They are stewards of the palace. Withdraw the word. You know what, mommy? I barely arrived and y'all are stressing me already. And you know what? Daddy's right. I'm exhausted right now. I should take a nap. And when I'm done, we'll catch up. I don't know how to say this. It might sound funny, but we have a problem. A very big problem. She has changed automatically. Listen, excuse me. Fourteen years. She has stayed fourteen years abroad. Fourteen straight years as the shy's play. There are so many things she doesn't remember anymore. She just got back. Let us allow her. She will come around. She will come around. We have a lot of job on our hands. On our weaver. She didn't even greet us. I hope you've rested well. Hmm. Not so much, but at least I'm better than before. That means you can talk. Yeah. What's up? Princess Adagi or Amor, you have a lot to catch up with. But meanwhile, have you apologized to the maidens? What? Have you apologized to the maidens? Have I apologized? Is how much you, you really said that? Mm -hmm. You know, earlier when you said it, I thought you were bullshitting. You were not playing? You must do that. I won't. I'm not gonna. You have only today to apologize to those <laughs> maidens. Hell to the freaking no. Over my dead body, matter of fact. You know what else I'm gonna do? Fire them. You don't have such powers. Oh, you see. You see. Come in. 
Greetings, That's my okay. Prince it's time of the day. Princess, what do you want? Lunch is served. Okay. Message delivered. Now scram. Thank you, ma. Let's not forget you have only one day to apologize to the maidens. You might want to talk to my good ear because I didn't hear you. <sighs> that was a good meal. Yeah. Yes, yes. Although I must say that I waited for the meal to be over so I could ask the questions that start bugging my mind. Because if I did say something while we're eating, y'all would accuse me of having bad manners. So can I ask my questions now? You are always free to ask any question. What is it? Daddy, those guards standing out there, is that how they're going to be standing in front of our compound day in and day out? You see, those guards are not just standing. What are they doing? They are doing their job. Like the mates? Yes, absolutely. Like the mates. Okay. Okay, let's back up a second. Daddy, that looks to me like 21st century slavery. Hey. And you have got to abolish it, Daddy. It is not cute. It's not. Ada. Mom? Ada Diorama, what is your problem? Mommy, I ain't got no problem. I got no problem, Mom. You have a very big problem. No, I don't. Just shut up and stop poking your mouth into everything. Michiono! Okay, now she wants to shush me because I'm making sense. Newsflash, Mommy. I'm not a little girl. Take a good look at me. I'm a grown woman now. You cannot go about shushing me like that. <laughs> if you try it, it'll be awfully hard to. Okay, I'd rather remember, listen to me. Nobody is disputing the fact that you are a grown woman. The issue here is that you just got back. Can you just stop? Stop and understand what we have been doing here before you can introduce any change. You're right, Daddy. I just got back and already I'm seeing all kinds of weird stuff. All kinds, all kinds. And I'm trying to make it stop because you don't know better. Enough of that nonsense. When we live in Emegi, you call this, that is the actual nonsense. Is that enough? It's a dad drama, as I recall. Whatever the name is, just shut up. Keep quiet. And learn what we have been doing in your absence before trying to introduce anything new. I'm just going to go. Biko, Jebe, put on me next side. Give me some talks, Daddy. It's time to see that the photo, me and Julio King, we're going to be telling you guys out there. Are you sure that your Rama is still okay? Yes, I think so. I don't think so. <laughs> but you know she has been away for 14 years. So there is every tendency she will misfire. My dear, she is not just misfiring. Adadi Rama is doing too much already and I am not comfortable at all. <sighs> well, um... I suggest we watch her closely. Hmm. If he goes out of hand, we will consult a psychiatrist. You see, we have a problem. The daughter of a king will now be needing the services of a psychiatrist. What can we do? You sent her abroad. You, what the hell is your name and what do you do in this palace? My name is Gili Kamwa. And I'm in charge of flowers, my princess. In charge of flowers? Yes, what does that even mean? Are you trying to say you're the gardener? Something like that, my princess. Something like what? That's a stupid response. Get out now. I'm sorry, my princess. Get out. You're fired. Get out. I'm sorry, my princess. You. What do you do? What's your name? My name is Sujungwa, my princess. I, I am the cook. <gasps> oh my God. It was you. You're the cook. <laughs> you made that horrible meal yesterday. What, what was the plan? You wanted to kill me or what? Because your horrible food punched the heck out of me last night. And you stand right there looking at me smiling. What's funny? I'm sorry, my princess. It will never happen again. Damn straight it will not. Because I'm never, ever eating your food again. Also, you're fired. 
Get the hell out of my face. Get out now! Nurse, you! What's your name and what are you doing in this palace? My name is Udochi, my princess. I'm in charge of laundry. Laundry? Yes, my princess. You mean you do the work of a washing machine? Yes. The hell? We don't need your services, girl. Be gone. Hello? My name is Akuna. I'm the queen's personal maid. It's written all over you. It is very clear that you are troubled. Whatever it is that troubles you will be handled here and now. What is it? Yes, I am troubled. From all indications, Obunnaya, our son, is into fellow men. I don't understand what that means. He may be a gay. How can you even say that? The prince of Umbanato is gay? That is not possible and you know it. <laughs> when was the last time you saw him with female friends? Go through the records. No female visitors. All males. Don't you understand? Well, maybe your observation is correct. But your conclusion is wrong. And I want this to stop. Are you listening to me? I want this to stop. You shouldn't be angry with me. You should reason with me. I am reasoning with you, but as far as I am concerned, you are not making any sense. I don't know where this is coming from, but to the best of my knowledge, it just started today. I want it to end here and now. What's your name? Uh, okay, uh, my princess. My name is Unyeji Wanaka, my princess. And your what? That's an ugly name, gosh. I hate it. Uh, well, I'm sorry, my princess. That is the name my parents gave to me. Oh, you're gonna lose your job if you keep mouthing off. Uh, I'm sorry. Did I princess. ask you to speak further? No, my princess, I'm so sorry. Who is that woman and why is she pensive? Uh, she's here to see the king, my princess. Why? Uh, it's not in my place to know why she's here to see the king. I'm so sorry. Get out of my side. Yes, my princess. Skin for more. She's so Why are you crying? My queen. The princess just sacked us. What? Why? She said I cooked bad food that pushed her last night. Queen. The food you cooked last night that I ate poised her. Yes, my queen. I tried to explain to her, but she, she, she wouldn't let me talk. And you? What did you do? 
My queen, she said that she'll be getting laundry machines very soon and I'll be useless to the royal family. <laughs> but did you tell her that you have many laundry machines here in the palace? And that there are some fabrics that cannot go into laundry machines? Did yes, you tell her that? I did. My queen, I tried to explain to her, but she wouldn't listen to us. <laughs> okay, no problem. Stop crying. Oh, Vichanyagi. Just go to your rooms. I'll sort it out. All right? I will. What's the matter? My princess invaded my house and made away with my good. I have done everything to retrieve my good from this man. But he will not listen to me. That's why I'm here, my princess. That's why you're here? Yes, my princess. To bother the king, you mean? That's what you all do in this country, I mean. Y'all go ahead and borrow money from people and you do not pay back. Now, according to your story, the stupid man in question devised a means to get his money. And now you want to involve the king. Is that how you play? No, my princess. I strongly believe that if I am able to see the king, mm -hmm. he will help me talk to this man so he can return my gold. Oh, my days. Oh, sounds like a foolish plan. Because my father, the king, will never engage with such trivialities. That said, use the gate, madame. What? My princess, please. The king is my only hope of retrieving my goods. Do not deprive me of the opportunity. We have of guards to move you out. Hello? My princess. My princess, please. Uh, madam, please, you have to go. Princess, please. Just to allow me to see the king, please. You have to go now. Guard! Talk to no, 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 you have to go now, please. Yes, my princess. This way, this way. My princess! This way, this way. If any idiot now. comes to this palace to see my I father, said, I want to see that fellow first. Yes, my princess. Because nonsense like this would have made its way to my father for nothing. Yes, my princess. Out. There is a serious problem, my dear. Really, there is a problem. And it won't be long, she will suck us. Exactly what I was thinking. What do we do? I don't know. What do you suggest? If you have any idea, bring it on. Please. Your bags are supposed to be packed by now. So what are you still doing here? Hmm? Pack, go away. We are not going anywhere. I mean, the queen asked us to stay, Abby. Wait, wait. Did you report the princess to the queen? I can't leave that thing. Reporting to the queen is the only option we have right now. Really? Really? Mm. This will certainly not go well with the princess. I hope you know that. Yes. Hey, <laughs> see, honestly speaking, huh? we don't care. At this point, we do not care what happens. Yes. Can you imagine? Ah. Hey. Me too. I'm okay. Uh -uh. I don't care because I mean we did not do anything to deserve the sack. What is that? I, wait, how can she just come back from Obodo Iba and she wants to sack us? Ah. She just came back for no no. You guys are really funny. Did you I call her they suspect you? Hey. You they support princess. Now you they go first sack. Okay, okay. Okay. I didn't follow you to I the beg you. I beg it's okay. Don't Wait, worry. Wait, wait. The queen. Yo, see you, but don't you want to suck us? Why? Hello, handsome. How are you? I have warned you to stop. Barging into my office on the night. But you don't listen. Why? I've been trying to call you, but you've not been taking your calls. Because I'm busy. It's work hour. Uh, I can see that. 
That's why you decided to come. What exactly do you want to like work for? Listen, I want us to talk, okay? I'm busy. And after work, I'm going straight to the palace, so no time to talk. Okay, um, I'm just gonna sit right here. I promise I will not stop you and wait for you, okay? Sorry, Nali, you can't sit here, okay? Why are you doing all this? What do you want? Don't you get it? I really like you. And I want to be with you. And I told you it won't work. Calmly. Why? Because I don't want you. Is it difficult for you to understand? Please. I need to be at the palace after work. They are taking my time. That makes it better. We can go to the palace together. You, you know? can't come anywhere close to that palace. I want to discuss this with you in your chamber. I, don't you understand? I don't have such time. It's serious to you. It's not serious to me. Why are you doing this to me? Don't you find me attractive? Listen, you're beautiful, okay? Trust me with that. But I am not interested. The question here is why did you sack them? Mother, they are useless in this palace. If they do nothing that makes sense. There's no point retaining them. The other one said she can cook. But she cooks nothing. Nothing that anybody can eat. And the other one said she does laundry. Are you guys kidding me? Laundry? In an era where laundry machines do the work? <laughs> it's no point. There's no point with anything I'm telling you. Other dear Rama, Uju is a good cook. Even your father can attest to that. She cooks very well. Yeah, she cooks the perfect mess. The kind that posed me yesterday. Didn't you pause, Mom? <laughs> it wasn't her food that pushed you. Because we all ate that same food and nothing happened to us. You talked about um, laundry machines. We have them here in the palace. But they're not going to operate themselves. It's still human beings that will operate them. Don't you get it? Besides, there are some fabrics that don't go into washing machines. Wait, why does it sound like you're defending them right now? Well, they haven't done anything to deserve sack. And as a matter of fact, I've assigned one to you to be your personal maid. You're kidding? Mm -mm. I am not. Remember, I am your mother. I have made that decision and this stays. So, how did it go? Same old story. Really? So, does it mean he doesn't see this beauty you are endowed with? At this point, this has gone way beyond beauty. The prince doesn't strike me like someone that is easily moved by a woman's beauty. Uh, I'm s uh, you think so? I'm serious. <sighs> you know what? At this point, I'm compelled to believe the prince is into men. Oh, come on. Don't say that. <laughs> Look. Prince Obun Naya is my friend. Not just a friend, a close one for that matter. So I can give you my word with every assurance that is not into men. Believe me. I, I honestly don't understand. But I, I really do need you to talk to him on my behalf. Please, 
I really need you to do this for me. Majesty. No, no, go and bring the woman now. I'm ready to see her now. She has gone home, Your Majesty. I don't understand. She's not patient enough to wait for her thing. She was prepared to wait, but the princess asked her to leave, Your Majesty. What? Why? I don't know why she asked her to leave. The princess also left an instruction that no one should come to the palace to see you without her approval. What is wrong with that Nadia? Call me the princess. What kind of a princess? The people's princess. And she's hating on everyone and this so bad. Yeah. What kind of a princess? Greetings, my princess. Have you not greeted me today? What is with the incessant greetings? What are you people daft or just plain stupid? The king demands to see you. Why? He wants to know the reason why you asked the woman who came to see him to leave. Oh, oh, oh wait a minute. You reported me to the king. No, my princess. This guy is actually way more idiotic than I thought. I'm going to ask you one more time. Did you report me to the king, my father? No, my princess. Oh, oh there he goes. No. How then did he know that I sent the woman away? Apologies. Yeah. Of course, you have some god forsaken apology to represent your misdemeanor. Let it be known that you reported me to my father. And for this, I will have you punished in my own time. Why did you ask the woman who came to see me to leave? Daddy, I just greeted you. You didn't even respond. I don't know, I asked the question. Why did you ask the woman who came to see me to leave? That woman had nothing to say. Nothing that made sense. That's why I asked her to leave. How did you get to know she has nothing serious to say? I asked her and she was talking about the dash. So I dismissed her. When did I delegate that responsibility of talking to people who come to see me? When did I delegate that responsibility to you? Daddy, you didn't even have to delegate it. I am your daughter. And you are my father. I represent you. I know what you like and wouldn't like. So I dismiss her. You see, the same way I am your father is the same way I am her king. She came here to see me as her king and you do not have any right to dismiss her. Don't do this again. Are you actually mad at me right now, Daddy? Listen, there's, there, there's a structure we have in this palace. All my subjects, they have unhindered access to their king. Unhindered? Yes. And they do not ever again dismiss any citizen of this kingdom who came to see me. 
Oh, wait, so I should let them troop in and out of this palace however they like, whenever they please? That is the structure we have in place because I am their king and they are my subjects. Do not dismiss anybody who has come to see me. Stop doing things that will provoke me. What kind of a princess? She could be someone to emulate. You, come here. she's hating. Okay. Yes, my princess. You know what you're gonna do? I'm going to sit back down and you will greet me incessantly. My princess, I, I don't understand. What don't you understand? I said that I'll be seated here and I want you to greet me without even quitting. Off you go with the greetings. Greetings, my princess. Greetings, my princess. Greetings, my princess. Greetings. My Add princess. energy to it. Greetings, my princess. Greetings, my princess. Greet me like you mean it. Greetings, my princess. Greetings, my princess. Greetings, Since my princess. y'all love to greet, I'm going to sit back down and enjoy all the greetings that you have to offer. You hear me? Greetings, my princess. Why is one hand behind you? Don't I deserve to have put your hands behind your back? Greetings, my princess. Greetings, my princess. Greetings, my princess. Greetings, my princess. You are being very disrespectful to me right now. Greetings, my princess. Bow lower than that. Greetings, my princess. Since y'all want to greet, you might as well greet right. Greetings, my princess. Get on your goddamn knees and greet. Greetings, my princess. What's going on there? Onana is under punishment. What kind of punishment is that? Ah, maybe that's the kind of punishment they give in abroad. I don't understand. But wait, what did he do to deserve such punishment from her? Eh? I don't know. See, my own is that the princess is beginning to inconvenience us in this palace. And if she continues with this attitude, I don't have any other option but to resign. Same here. I will too. Yeah. You both just sounded as if there is already made job somewhere. See, even if there is no job anywhere, I'd rather stay in my father's house than to allow my fellow woman to humiliate me. Hmm. Let me tell you, it is better to be humiliated and earn from it than stay comfortable and earn nothing at the end of the day. Really? Of course. It's like she's enjoying this, our princess foolishness too. She's enjoying what this rubbish that is going on in this palace. And that's I'm not it. enjoying it one bit. But resignation is out of it. See, I have a choice. She cannot continue to humiliate us. Mm. Abu Madam Madu. Mm. Eh? <laughs> See, mm. I mean it. <laughs> Let's go. <Please. laughs> Greetings, my princess. Why is there a cap on your head as you're greeting me? Are you stupid? Greetings, my princess. Greetings, my princess. Greetings. Are you trying princess. to have eye contact with me as you greet me? Are you mad? I'm, 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 I'm Lie sorry. flat on the floor and greet. Greetings, my Since y'all want to greet, greetings, you want to go crazy princess. on the greetings? Go ahead and greet. Greetings, I'm here for princess. it. Greetings, my princess. Greetings, my princess. Greetings, my princess. Greetings, my princess. princess. It's princess, princess, my only name. As I recall, my name is equally Adadiorama. Yes, my princess. Add that to the title. I want the title because yeah. y'all love the title. You love the title? Yes, my princess. So give me the title. Give me the goddamn title. Greetings, Adadiorama. Greetings, Adadiorama. This is one wine. What's my father's name? What's the king's name? I didn't just fall from the sky. I'm not just Adadiorama. Yes, this one is very good. Yeah. I am happy you like it. Yes. See, these are the kind of things you see in a palace. And that is why I'm a palace that is a palace. So yeah, yeah. Not, not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's why I, you know I always come around. Yeah. Yeah. I, just, I, I love this. Uh, maybe cool. I'll, maybe I'll take this one. You don't have any problem. Uh, <laughs> have any problem. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. Yeah. Uh, uh, but Your Majesty, uh, I. I, I really need a favor from you. Go ahead and mention it. And be rest assured that if it is something I can handle, it is, it is going to be granted. Oh, thank you, Your Majesty. You see, my son, my second son, uh, he just graduated from the university. Good. And he needs a job. He's tired of staying idle at home. And uh, he wants to become positively engaged in something meaningful. Uh, so, I, I was wondering if you would uh, 
employ him in the family business, let him get engaged there, let him become useful to himself. That's a very noble request from you, Onowu. Thank you, Your Majesty. Uh, but as you know, I am not the one who is in charge of the family business. But you are the CEO. Yes, I am the CEO, but I don't know anything about the day-to-day -day running of the business. My son is the one that is in charge. Your Majesty, don't you think uh, you're making a mistake? Uh, because uh, these young men, you know how they behave. Uh, I think the prince still needs to be guided properly, you know, especially in the uh, nitty-gritty and the, you know, things. Well, no, uh, what you are saying is actually very intelligent. And I must have to let you know that I did exactly what you are saying for three years before I discovered that it appears as if I was wasting my time. Because my son was doing excellently well and I decided to allow him to have his space. And he's doing amazingly well. Oh, oh, yeah. That is, that is good. That is, I like that. Uh, yeah. I, I, like, I like the trust you repose uh, in the prince. But I still think it is, it is way too much. I mean, the latitude you, you uh, run everything. Oh no, listen to me. From what I have found out, the main reason I decided to allow the young man to have his space, I discovered eventually that he is more intelligent than me. Huh? Your Majesty. I'm sorry to say this, but that is just the truth. How can you say that? Who in this kingdom is more intelligent than my king? Nobody. Uh, I know Nobody. you are saying that simply to flatter me. I know, I know. But that is just, listen to me. I used to think that I was actually very intelligent, like people say. Until my intelligence was put to test with that of my son. Uh, and I discovered I was nowhere near him. My king, <laughs> you have to explain this to me because Ono who does not okay. flatter very my king. Uh, you know, let me just tell you a very simple story. Okay. Very simple. The person that stole the king's beads, you better start confessing it now. Because we all know his majesty. He can go to any length to fish out the culprit. I have said my own. I don't know hmm. what you are talking about. Yeah, I did not tell that. The Lord, then what did he? I'm not even in position of his real beads. So, same here. I'm not in the position of the king's beard. Hmm? Your Majesty. Oh. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Your Majesty and the Prince. I am going to ask you again. Who amongst you stole the royal beard? Your Majesty, I didn't even see the beads in question. I'm not the one. The truth still remains that I did not steal the king's beat. So who did? I didn't do that. Eh? I'm not even the police of his rare beats. No, no, I need to remind three of you. If you fail to bring out the royal bead you have stolen, I will make three of you to spend the remaining days of your lives in jail. Hey. Your Highness, I'm innocent. I did it, Your Majesty. Eh? I'm, not, I'm not even in the position of your rear beats. I think I have seen the thief. Get out! Get out! Thank you, Your Majesty. Take it out, Your I don't think he's responsible. He is. He is. What informed your judgment? His countenance betrayed him. Were you not looking at him? He almost confessed that he was the one who stole the bead. Father, he might just be scared of going to jail. Listen, eh? I am good when it comes to psychology. You know? I mean, reading the reaction of people. Looking at him as he was speaking, it became very clear to me that he is actually the, the thief. Greetings, my friend. Who stole the king's beads? I don't understand, my friend. What don't you understand? You just asked me about the. The king's beat. We already know who stole the beads. Charles did not steal the king's beads. So who did? You. My prince. 
I was told that you were the last person that cleaned the king's chambers before that bead got missing. I only went to the king's chamber to clean it. Then I discovered the beads were gone. It's not your duty to clean the king's chamber, so how come you were the one that cleaned his chamber? Ujunwa, Ujunwa asked me on that very day to help her out. Lies. I already asked Ujunwa and she told me you came begging for her to give you the chance to clean the king's chamber. Me? No. no. I, 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 I only wanted to clean my king's chamber. Stop wasting my time. Where is the king's royal beads before I turn you to tortoise? My prince, I'm so sorry, my prince, my brother. My brother is very sick. I sold the beads to pay his medical bills. I'm so sorry, my prince, please forgive me. I am so sorry. Where have you been, son? I'll be looking for the thief, father. I don't understand. Why are you bothering yourself looking for the thief that you have already found? Sars is the thief and the police are already on their way to come and pick him up. Because the 30 minutes I gave him has already elapsed. Father, Charles is not the thief. You see, uh, son, I understand so much that you love Charles. But the time has come for you to see him for who he is. A common thief. And a thief has no place in this palace. Father Charles did not steal your royal beads. Uzamaka did. How do you mean? I confronted her and she confessed to that. You are killing me, right? I mean every word of it, Father. What? It's not her duty to clean your royal chamber. But on that day, she begged to be the one to clean your chamber. On that same day, your royal beads got missing. I confronted her now and she confessed to it. How, how were you able to mask this? <laughs> your Majesty, that is a very wonderful display of knowledge and wisdom. All that and more. Are the reason I told you that he is more intelligent than me. Oh, there again, I disagree with you. <laughs> no one is more intelligent than my king. Oru, yeah. you just want to drag it. I understand. <laughs> but you know exactly what I am saying. <laughs> uh, well, uh, Your Majesty, uh, whichever way it goes, um, let us go back to our discussion. Uh, do you think my son stands a chance in the family business? Uh, of course, sure. I am going to discuss what you said with my son, and I am sure there must be something in, he can be doing in that company. Of course. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> uh, now I can, I can rest. Uh, let me take more of this. Uh, no, we, you don't have any problem at all. Mm. And now that this is resolved, is it not the best time for me to tell them to prepare you something to eat? Uh, Your Majesty, I... I have something, some toast at home to eat <laughs> right now. Yeah? <laughs> Otherwise, I would have uh, <laughs> requested for that. Very good, yeah? You know, you know, you remember what I told you this before, and yeah, you actually it appeared as if you picked the fence, but that is just the truth. Uh, I think it is actually the large quantity of alcohol that you drink that is making you be the way you are. <laughs> oh, Your Majesty, the stress, you're, you know, helping you to run this thing. Oh no, who is oh no, who? Yeah, I have to. Oh no, who now? Why your phone? Hold on a second, because I'm doing so hard to get a hang of this. What are you saying? All right, the point is this. Since you got back, everybody around here their BP increased. And that has to stop. Please. Wait, wait. You're actually drumming support for them and not me. Is that what you're doing right now? Listen, I must not support you when you are wrong. Oh, I see what you said. Huh. You're judging me. You're absolutely judging me. Because if that's not what it's about, how 
then do I explain that you're trying to make me feel like I'm wrong when clearly I'm right? Listen, Adabiyaramba. This drama has to stop. You might think you're making an impact, but trust me, the impact is negative. And I believe dad is tolerating you because he believes you need time to understand the land. If you push him to the wall, he won't like his bounce back. Oh, what? What's gonna happen? What will he do? Disown me? For trying to bring sanity in an already insane environment? You are the one sounding like an insane person here. Yo! We all love you, but you need to calm down, okay? Be someone to emulate, but she's hating on everyone, and it's so bad. Juma, bye bye, welcome. Thank you. How did you go? Uh, uh the king promised to talk to the prince and get the help. I don't understand. I thought the king has a final say on this matter. Uh, well, I was under the same impression. All this while, until the king told me himself that uh, he has little or nothing to do with the day-to-day -day running of the business. I'm, I'm only accepting this because it's coming from you, my father. So, when are you going to talk to the prince? Oh, hopefully tomorrow, tomorrow. Do you, do you think he will accept? Until I talk to him. But then, I don't see any reason he would uh, turn it down since uh, the king has already given his consent. I hope so too. <laughs> so, I just get ready for it. Okay. Okay, so, moving on now. But let me discuss another thing that bothers me a lot. What's that? The unknowable. What's wrong with that man? He's always here. He frequents the palace. He, he's an incessant visitor. He's here all the time. Why? What's his deal? Are you serious? What's your business with him? I feel like he's stalking us. Because you guys probably don't see, but that's how stalkers move and operate. He can stay in his house. Or what is he, homeless? He doesn't have a house. I don't know I'm missing, okay? This... Things are traditional stuff. That's your know. He walks with the king. So? How many times he visits here shouldn't be your problem, okay? No, no. He's not the only one that works for daddy. The man is here every freaking time. I wake up in the morning, the you know is here. I try to have dinner, lunch, breakfast, brunch. I'm going out to have... But let me ask. He, at night I'm trying to sleep, he's here. What's your business with how many times do you know visits? You're not bothered by him? Anadia Rama, listen. You're not making sense to me. And for the records, I'm a businessman, okay? If you have any business idea, come on, bring it up. We can talk on that. But discussing how many times you know visits is not making sense to me. Please. Why, why? Why do you do this? When I, why do you do this? I'm your sister. It's not fair that you trivialize my emotions like this. You need to understand our tradition, darling. And where are you going? Go to me. You seriously walking out of me? You need a glass of juice, darling. <laughs> you never told me you were coming. You are looking at your back home because I had already left the office. It's a long book visit. That was why I didn't make it official. Each time you sound like this, that means there is something important. <laughs> you are too intelligent, my friend. Very intelligent. It's a special gift deposited in me by the gods. Ah. <laughs> I envy that because I just wish the gods should embellish me with such gifts too. No, we need a different one. Oh, there you go. Well, uh, it's about Dera. Yes, Dera. You see, <clears throat> that girl loves you so much. Whenever I look at her, I see the aura of her love for you, the fragrance of her roaming around her. Yes, 
and she's ready to go all the way length with you. I'll just, I, I, I've, I've asked you this before. Just give her a chance. You never can tell. Hmm? No, I'm not interested. Why, if I may ask? First, she is not my spec. Secondly, I don't want to have anything with any woman for now. And finally, where I met her and the circumstances surrounding where I met her forbids me from having an affair with her. Was that the previous one, the third article, or should I say, where did you meet her exactly? Let me know. I met her to Benna's place. Yes, I met her to Benna's house. To Benna invited her to come see him. And I was at To Benna's house. You see? So she's for To Benna. I can't go behind To Benna's back and start. Come on. No, 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 no. I don't roll that way. So that's it. Now I see your reasons. Well, you're a full grown man. You know what's best for you. The decision is yours, but to me, to be a nice place. Hmm. Wish to mark. Greetings, my princess. What? I've just been assigned to you by the queen as your personal maid. Is everything all right, my princess? Go back to your queen. Tell her I said I do not need a personal maid. Okay, my princess. You know what? Come back here. Come here. Precisely, what does a personal maid do? A personal maid is more like a personal assist assistant. Someone that will be around to attend to all your personal needs. Princess is the most difficult task one will ever do in this palace. Hey, honestly, when I first heard that one of us will be assigned to the princess, I prayed to the court it should not be me. <laughs> what would I have done? How Akuna is coping with the princess. Ah! <laughs> that the princess is the most difficult person, not only in this palace, on earth. Mm -hmm. My dear, somehow the job fits Akuna. So why did you say so? We know Akuna is a patient fellow, very understanding, mm -hmm. and most importantly. She's very tolerant. She can deal with the princess. Yeah, As for me, mm. I understand. She's very right. Friend. I mean, but let's just pray that Akuna will not be able to stay with the princess. <laughs> Fine. Tell us about it now. Well, in her usual way of response, she responded her usual way. Mm? But at first, she told me <laughs> I should go back and tell the queen that she doesn't need a maid attached to her. But on a second thought, she asked me, she asked me to stay. Really? Yes. <laughs> hmm? Just like, just like that. What did you use? Uh, what? You were not <laughs> smiling at, like as if he... This she really sounds sure. strange. I swear, like, she must be stay. in her best of mood too. Yes, so. 
Hey, aku nana ini Reno. Gideon. The old guy. So how did it go? Well, he is still insisting on not having anything to do with you. I don't know. And did he say why? He said he met you in Tobenna's place. And he was sure that you were there to see Tobenna. For crying out loud, that was my first time visiting Tobenna. After so many failed visits. Well, he never said you have anything going with Tobenna, though. I can't even have anything to do with Tobenna. Look, the prince feels it will be more like betraying a friend. Oh, and I, I, I see he doesn't want to do that part. Listen. I am not in a relationship with Tobinna. Why is that so difficult to understand? I'm not dating him. I'm not seeing anybody at the moment. Prince Obunaya is a man of principle. And I see that he is actually doing this because he just doesn't want to, to do anything that will tarnish his image. Yes. It's okay. Thank you so much for your efforts. You're welcome. I really do appreciate it. You're welcome. All right. Um, um, I will try to get in touch with you later in the evening. It's okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Mommy, I have a question for you. And I want you to answer me sincerely. <laughs> Are you not my daughter? Ask me anything. I will answer. The maid. Is it really necessary? It is. Very necessary. Go ahead now and tell me why it's necessary that I have her as my steward. You are a royal seed. It is your entitlement to have a maid attached to you. That is the way we do it. It is not a bad idea. Well, upon your insistence, she's hired. But, I sincerely hope she will not be messing around with my stuff or interfering in my personal life. Not at all. She's got no boundaries. Yes. She is trained. You will be comfortable with her. And by then, you will appreciate what we have done for you. Hmm? We'll see how it goes. Honestly, Tobena, I'm not comfortable with this. You called me on phone to come. And since I came in here, you've not said anything. You just kept mute. What is going on? Johnson, the prince is getting in my way. And if he does not get out of my way, I will deal with him. What did he do? He's into the woman that I love. I don't understand. Johnson. You know Chidera and how I feel about her. The prince, our friend, is the reason why she hasn't been giving me attention. <laughs> CTB. I just feel you are being ignorant here. What do you mean by being ignorant? Johnson. The first day Chidera visited me in this house, the prince was here. And I saw how she was lost looking at the prince. What's up, man? Cool. There's no network on my face. I know I'm good to see you. Um, not at all. I'm fine. So pretending you're my friend, I know your actions. You're not happy. Were you not expecting me? Um, not exactly. Um, I'm sorry about that. I was not expecting you. So who are you expecting? My prince, there's this beautiful angel I saw recently. 
you know, her name is Chidera. I've been inviting her over several days. She kept giving excuses, excuses. Until 30 minutes ago, she called and said she was coming. Okay. In that case, let me leave now. So that I don't disrupt whatever no. you want to do. You are here already. You are here. Worst case, you excuse us upstairs. Zukwanike. My prince, my prince. Zukwanike. I'm learning after you. My Give prince. your life to Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do I offer you? Soft. Soft? Okay, soft. Soft. I'll be back. Oh, okay. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi. Please come. Thank you. Yes. Uh, sit. Hello. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Um, so, what do I offer you? Um, anything. Uh, anything soft. Soft. Yes. Okay. Thank you. I I'll be right back. Soft again? Yes, yeah, soft. Okay, I I'll be right back. Thank you. My prince, for a moment, please. Lied. But he went behind my back and had an affair with her. And that account for why she has been telling me no. There are, like I said earlier, you are just being ignorant. Yes. Johnson, I am trying so hard not to be angry with you. I am sure of what I am saying. The prince betrayed our trust of friendship. Look. Stop being ridiculous to Benna. The prince is not doing anything with Dera. Believe me. Johnson, I was not expecting you to see otherwise. You are closer to the prince than myself. So I expect you to speak in his defense. And that exactly is what you are doing. What if I tell you that Dera is even the one pushing to be close to the prince? But the prince has not even consented to this. So how do you mean? All right. Just yesterday, Dara called me and told me to help her speak to the prince. Just to give her a chance. Johnson, that's not possible. Dara is too decent to do a thing like that. Dara is a decent girl, that I know. I have nothing against her, so why would I lie against her? Johnson, I've always taken every word you have said to me. Hook, line, and sinker. But you see this one? No, I'm not taking it. I am not taking it. The choice is yours to believe in whatever you want. But I've just told you clear and clean that Prince has nothing to do with Dara. Honest words. <laughs> what a surprise, like, I thought you left for work. No, today is Saturday. Oh. So wait a minute, in Nigeria, people don't go to work on Saturdays. <laughs> not really. I just choose not to go to work today. Okay. Okay. Works for me, because I have a question that I've been meaning to ask you <coughs> since I got back. And what could that be? Do you have a woman in your life or not? Cool. Answer would be no, because I haven't seen any woman around you. Why is that? Women are not in my radar for now. Not in your radar? Why? 
You know the man? Not yet. I need to focus on my career. I want to build one. Once I'm done building my career, I can now look in the world. Oh, big brother. Women enhance focus. And you need focus to build your dream. So you surely need a woman. And listen, really I volunteer myself to do something in that regard. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, yes, you do. Don't Trust me. I'm there. <laughs> I'm there already. And you're going to meet me there with the one because I have set plans in motion already. I don't know what you're talking about. You this do know. Really clear, yes, yes, you're going to get a woman because you need a woman in your life, like it or not. Oh, You're blushing already. Let's not have this conversation. Because the thought is getting you excited. <laughs> Greetings, my prince and princess. What the hell? Who asked you to come here? The king demands to see you, my princess. Tell him about him shortly. They said it's urgent. They? Yes, my Who are they? The king and the queen. Both of them? Yes, my princess. Okay, go. I'll join them now. Saved by the bell. I got my eyes on you. And that lady's coming true. So we can discuss what? Married? Me marriage, really? <laughs> okay, okay. I see you guys are at that age where you want grandbabies. You want to be granddaddy and grandmommy. Please don't rush me. <laughs> don't rush me. I am not having that discussion with you. No. Listen, princess. Do not twist what your father just said. You are a woman. And you should start thinking of getting married. You are not getting any younger. Don't you get it? What? Are you trying to say I'm getting old? Mom, you want to take that back. You might want to take that back. I am young and beautiful. Mm -hmm. I have my whole life ahead of me. I haven't even started. I barely scratched the surface yet. What are you trying to do to me? I'm not ready. It's not time. Okay? I don't understand you. As in, do you feel you are getting younger? You are 30 years old. I got married when I was 18. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> Mom and Dad, Teddy is the new 15. Like, I just really started living my life. At my age, a girl wants to be independent, travel the world, read a lot of books, and gain her own money, become boss chick CEO. Back in the day, Mommy, y'all got married because you needed daily bread. I don't know what this is. I am not going to waste time arguing this with you. If you are not going to say yes to any of these men, young men that are asking for your hand in marriage, I will be left with no other option than to pin one of them. Pin one of them? Mom. Yes! On and, me! And declare him your husband. Oh, daddy, you don't mean that. You honestly don't mean that. Because what are we in the 19th century? In the 1950s? Listen, I am that as a Mbajiaka right here. Uh -huh. Of mm -hmm. You may need to go and ask questions. Listen to me. Help yourself. If you don't want to help yourself, I will be left with no other option than to pin one of these men down and declare him your husband. When that happens, I don't remember, there is nothing you will ever do to obtain that. Mm -hmm. Is it okay? Hey, hey, hey. No. I am just telling you. Are you stalking me? Um, not at all. So what is all this? I'm sorry, is that how you say it? What exactly do you want? What is it? Dara, I love you. Please, all I ask is a chance in your life. I am not interested. Read my lips. I am not interested. Is that so difficult for you to understand? Dara, please. 
Listen, I am not interested. Okay? Please stop stalking me. Gosh. I don't even know what I saw in you. What? Yes. What is it? Look at me. I'm here dying for you. And all you do, you are just there throwing yourself cheaply at the prince. I know. I know how hard you've been trying to convince the prince to give you his attention. Now you listen to me. Just so you know. Whatever you do, no matter how hard you try, the prince will never give you his attention. And in the event that he does, he will only sleep with you and just walk away. You disgust you me. You disgust me too. Get out! Yes, he was actually here the other day and he came to tell me about his second son who is now a graduate and he wanted to find out if there is any employment we can open up for the son of his in the, in the royal company. I forgot to mention that to you and I'm just asking you now that you raised it up. Is there something we can do for the Ono sir? Well, coming from Ono, we can't say no to him. <laughs> Uno who has been committed to the affairs of this kingdom. Mm -hmm. So I think it's time for us to reciprocate. I agree. I will create something for his son. I like to hear you say that. <laughs> like you said, you know, 